hello guys welcome to class today so today i'll be teaching you how to draw your brows and for this i'll be needing a powder so i'll be using this powder palette i'll use a lighter shade and a darker shade i will explain later then you need concealers a lighter shade and a darker shade so for this one i'll be using la girl pro i'll be using a blending brush and a concealer brush this is what it looks like then if you don't have um, a spoolie or a brow brush like I'll be using beauty line by DD brow pencil this one comes with a spoolie this for the brows like this if you don't have you can use your toothbrush and brush it up like this and that is it so I'll go straight into the tutorial for today. So the key thing to know before drawing your brow is your brow has a beginning point. This is the beginning of the brow. We have the arc and we have the tail. The tail should not go beyond this point. Once you are drawing your brow, it's already touching here. Something is wrong. Whatever or whichever we want to draw your brow, you should never pass this outer part of your eye. See this part? She never go beyond that point. So that's the tail. The arc is where you have your brow bone. If you don't, if your brow bone is not permanent, just raise your brow up like this. That part that is that you can feel the bone, that is where your arc is. See? So this is my arc. This is my, the beginning of my brow, the arc and the tail. So I'll just get down into drawing the brow now. To get a natural looking brow, the first thing you need to do is get your brows in place if you have very unruly brows there's some people they have very spiky brows you can use a brow thema if you don't have a brow thema you can improvise with um um this transparent gel but it's advisable to buy a brow thinner a brow thema so for this one i'm using osh beauty brow thema so i'll just dab on it like this with my brow wand or brow brush brow brush so I'll go over it with the brow thema like this just to help my brow stay in place just like this when you want to draw your brow make sure you brush it up I've already trimmed my brow so it's easier and if you don't also want to trim your brows you can still follow this step just brush it up like this then I'll do the same for the second brow I'll just brush it up. I'm touching it with the brow thema. I'll brush it up like so. It feels like gel, so I'll let it dry for a while and come back to it. So the brow thema has dried off. Can you see? That's dry. Once you touch it, you feel dry. So the first thing I'll do is to brush over it like this. So that way you see that my brow is in place irrespective of how difficult or let me just say irrespective of the weather conditions it's just going to stay like this okay and it's easier to draw your brows doing this method so like i said i'll be using beauty line by dd brow pencil if you don't have one you can use your normal davies pencil it's like 150 error to still do the job so the first thing, see, like I said, this is the beginning of your brow, the arc, and the tail. So you start drawing from the beginning to have a natural looking brow. Ensure that you are not pressing so hard on your pencil. So I'll just go like this. Straight line. I'm going to be following my natural brow. You can see I've already gotten to the arc. So I will just, from the arc point, you slant your hand. You draw a slight semicircle like this. Like this. Then you pull it down like this. Draw a straight line towards the end. Like I said, whatever you do, make sure it doesn't pass your outer line. So can you see? I'm still on track. So draw it out like that. And that's it for the down part. Now, to have a natural looking brow, ensure that you don't start drawing the upper part of your brow from this same start point. 
it's going to look like a box brow so you just go shift your hand a little bit you know this is where i started when i was drawing from the down part so i'll go from here instead of from here i'll just start from here same thing draw a straight line i'll be following my natural brow shape so there are different brow shapes like i sent to the group yesterday just go over it like this now you can see i've, I've gotten to the hack point so depending on the style of brow you want to draw so i'll be doing a slightly act brow so i'll just slant my hand a little bit draw a small semicircle from there then slightly make it join this other part then when you are going the more you are getting towards the tail the thinner it should be it shouldn't be that fat anymore so see and that's it about the brow can you see that no it's not looking even without concealing it already looks very okay so for people that don't have air in their brows because i have a full air so i have a full eyebrow it's easier to draw if you don't have it just go in with your brow pencil slightly slight strokes don't press your hand too much so it doesn't look too dark the idea is for you to look as natural as possible so since i don't really have much here at the beginning of my brows can you see i'll just give it light strokes like that and that is it so i'll go over it with the brow wand so you now understand why I said you should not start the upper part from the same point you started the first one. So I'll go in with my brow and, and brush the pencil into my hair. That way it gives the starting point a natural look. Can you see? I go in with it like this. I'm brushing the pencil I drew down into my natural brow hair line. Can you see like this so just go over it like this and that is it i finished drawing so I'll, the next one will be concealing the brows i'm just going over it concealing my brows i'll be using la girl pro in cool tan which is the lighter shade and I'll be using toast, which is a darker shade for me. So I'll just put small quantity on my hand like this. Okay, just small. And I'll be telling you, the reason why we're using two different shades is because I want to make it look as natural as possible. You'll notice a lot of people will just use one same color and go over it. Everywhere will not be shiny, shiny. The idea is to highlight your brow bone, the arc. This is the arc. This place should be the lightest point of your highlights on your brow. Why all these places should be dark? Because eventually when you do your makeup, most times you will end up contouring this line. And contour is the darkest part. This place will end up being darker than here. So everything shouldn't be light. So now that I've already gotten my shade, that's the lighter and the darker shade. This is my concealer brush. Can you see? I'll go in, I'll start with the lighter shade. So I'll go in with my arc like this. Following the line. Follow it straight. Like this. Can you see? Then I'll blend it out. Ensure you are very careful while doing this so you don't wipe off your brow. You still follow it, follow the straight line through which you drew the brow. And I'll blend it out like this. For a start, you don't need to be as fast as I am. I'm used to doing it. So you can't compare. Just like that, can you see? Then I'll now go in with my blending brush. 
and I'll most likely do my just raise my brows up like this so I'll do. I'm using it to blend the concealer so that it doesn't look look patchy just like this now that I've done that part I'll go in with a darker shade so I'll just clean off the other one I'll go in with a darker shade and start from here from the beginning of my brow I'll go in gently in a straight line to meet the other part and I'll blend it into the first concealer like this just like that I'll go to the outer part too now going with my darker concealer just like this blend it out to it the other one so it doesn't look it doesn't look too different I'm going over with my blending brush raise your uh, your brow like this so it's easier for you to do so you don't stain your brow then I'll blend everything together so that's it so I'll set it with powder the reason why I'm setting it with powder is so what I blended will last in long so I'm going with a lighter shade I don't know if you'll be able to see it I'll just go in with a lighter shade of my powder so I'm going in with this and this then I'll use it to touch it the shade the same shade of the concealer uh, I used is the same shade of powder I'm using and I'll go in with my natural powder which is this and this my nauseous so well then I'll now use it for the uh, for the outer, the beginning of the brow, and for the uh, end of my brow. Then I'll blend it out. So that's it about the brows. Can you see? I can go over with the lighter part. So this part, like I said initially, should be the part that should be highlighted. So that when you're done with your eyeshadow, that part will be popping more. It makes it look more professional okay so that's it I'll just blend in blend in the other part and that's it about the down part so for the upper part I will still go in with my I'll go in with my darker shade of concealer then I'll press on it lightly like this Ensure that you don't use too much for the upper part. I'm going with it like this. Straight line just the way I drew it. Then blend it out. It's important to quickly blend it out before the concealer dries out. So it doesn't look rough. You blend out like this. I'm going over it again with a little of the darker shade of concealer. And I'll go over it like this. So when you get to the arc, you just slant your hand a bit in a semi-circle motion, just the way you were drawing it. Then I'll slightly bring it down. I'll slightly bring it down to meet it at the tail. Just like this. Then I'll blend out. It's important to blend out on time so it doesn't dry up. If it dries up, it might look tacky. So I'll just go over it with my blending brush first, like this. So I'll blend it out so it will look neat. I'll blend it out like this. Then I'll go in with a darker shade of powder. I don't know. 
so this is my shade my natural shade so i'll go over it slightly with the powder just to set in my brows and that's it for the brows